in this video a, a schematic and a demonstration of a radio that I made approximately uh, three years ago. It's a super head shortwave receiver and uh, when you have followed my channel you will surely recognize this part of that old video, say approximately three years ago. And the good thing of it all is that I tried to avoid tuning capacitors as much as possible. So here for instance in the local oscillator the tuning is done with a uh, 1k potentiometer and the varicap, a varactor, varicap diode, say that diode changes its capacitance on the barrier layer when the voltage to that diode is changed. And here for the uh, high frequency unit exactly the same. Here is also a 1k potentiometer that does the job. It drives the field effect transistor here to a certain working point where it amplifies or where it uh, does not amplify so much. And the only critical thing is here is this trimmer. It's a so-called aluminum trimmer. You can turn it here up and down and well these are very old uh, radio trimmers of the 1950s etc etc. I have one of them but you can also use a modern trimmer. Say Perhaps I can show it. Put the camera down for a while. Uh, one moment. Uh, say, such a trimmer. Uh, this is green. Green stands for a certain um, capacitance, but anyway. You can use it also. So you don't have to use such a very obsolete uh, trimmer that uh, is not available any longer. And here is the first coil, the tuning coil. I've made many videos about that. Also want to refer to my earlier book that I published. Uh, here is the IF amplifier made here with that orange crystal of 455 kilocycles, perhaps 456, etc, etc. A mixer circuit is here. It's an aperiodic mixer, so no complicated circuit, etc, etc. Power supply, of course, here. Well, a local oscillator, very important. Uh, made with a field effect transistor and I will show the schematic. Here is the local oscillator tuning coil and parallel to that coil there is a diode and that diode is driven with the help of a potentiometer. Uh, in fact that does the job, it gives the voltage to the tuning diode. And I've made also fine tuning here and I will show the schematic. Anyway, let's listen. Uh, this could be a radio China, could also be radio, be radio Romania anyway. Let's turn the knob, let's turn the tuning um, potentiometer a little bit and also the fine tuning potentiometer. You are listening to Radio Romania International.
few people know that another radio station a philately museum set up in 2004 at present though the name remains another radio station a short wave well here are other radio stations perhaps uh, when the night goes in they are received at the moment not this receiver does not have an uh, automatic uh, gain control in the IF amplifier but anyway um, it cannot help when the say the radio signal in the ether as far as that exists is not fierce enough to be received has also to do with your antenna anyway the quality of your antenna anyway let's try again Show the high frequency amplification. Color model prints of postals were meant to verify the look of a stamp before printing. The earliest Romanian post that high air frequency amplification is realized by a field effect on sister. It is here. Drain source gate, etc. etc. Import on this. Tunical, and I've made a book and when I have some time I'm gonna show the book that is usable to make such a short wave radio. One moment please. Uh, That is this book. You can find it on the Lulu website. More information in the uh, description, the text box. And in this book you will find a lot of information about how to make a simple shortwave radio in an analog way. Of course nowadays 2023 Often a dongle is used, a computer program to detect, uh, say, the radio signals. Uh, but uh, my focus is always on analog radio circuits. Well, this is the schematic, by the way. So you don't have to buy the book. This gives you the basic schematic of a good, properly working shortwave radio. Pen over somewhat, perhaps interesting. So even when you don't have any money to spend on making a shortwave radio, this can help. And of course, uh, the whole setup of the radio that I'm talking about now is differs in a very substantial way because I did not use tuning capacitors here. I used a potentiometer to tune to certain frequencies. Well, let's go to the schematics. Perhaps that's interesting. I have a lamp. And perhaps they are not in the good order. Uh, well, they show a lot at first. Part 1. That is the schematic of the first stage. They say the front end. Much information here and there is also much information in an earlier 
video where I did show the same thing. And then we go to uh, perhaps part two, I don't know. Yes, this is part two. A drawing of the HF high frequency amplifier, front end amplifier. There we go to part three that at the moment is on the back side of one of these papers, but it doesn't matter much. Uh, part four is also on the back side, but I want to show, say, the basics. This is the schematic of the VFO. And you can see here that there is a fine tuning and there is a coarse tuning. And that is the way that I'm tuning this radio that I showed. That's one of the very important things. I hope this is enough. Uh, then we go to part 6, that is how the whole radio was made. Uh, you can see the two antennas, this is a kind of block schematic, etc, etc. Uh, this can also be very interesting. Uh, the schematic say the idea of a, a first test, though it worked, it was tested. And in fact we have here the same idea. Uh, that means the, uh, say, the front end of the radio. And I want to give a link to another video where all this is or all uh, explained more precise. This is, by the way, uh, uh, say the IF amplifier and the audio amplifier pan over somewhat. I only have, say, two minutes, but anyway, I will take my time. Coupling capacitor value is important. This is the uh, mixer circuit. Here is the first uh, crystal filter, ceramic filter, another ceramic filter. Um, the, the amplifier here, the detection diode, etc, etc. Sorry that it looks a little bit sloppy. But I'm more or less sure that in the uh, original video it was all explained in a more precise way. And here again the VFO tunable via a voltage supply. Say via changing the voltage to the to the field effect transistor with say fine tuning and coarse tuning. Pen over somewhat. I only have one minute. Fine tuning here, etc. etc. Let's go back to the radio. That's more fun. To listen to fifteen. China becoming the top economic power on earth will be a massive contributing factor in Earth. In this featured an exhibition praised all over the world, the War Childhood Museum. It stays open until June the twelfth at the new gallery of the Romanian Peasant Museum. It's a demonstration of innovative curatorship being the only museum. 
aprendimos junto con Carolina tres palabras que son ni hao, hola, ni hao, ni hao y xie xie. Gracias. Xie xie. Xie xie. Y 再见 Adiós. 再见再见 También aprendimos dos frases. Re receiving on an indoor event. Next in this program, sports. Goodbye.